So I'm on my way to Fiore's House of Quality, which has been an institution in Hoboken, New Jersey since 1903. So they're best known for their roast beef and mutts hero, which is on 30 Rock. They only sell it twice a week and people line up for it for hours on end. So I can't wait to give it a try and see if it lives up to the hype. What do I get here? I, what do you think I get? I get the mozzarella. What do you think I'm going to get? <laughs> the cold cuts, you know, it's always fresh. People flock to Fiore's House of Quality on Thursdays and Saturdays year round to wait in line for a roast beef and mutts hero. Some days it, it flies out the door, some days it stays a little longer. I mean, you know, the crowd is ferocious sometimes. $400 worth of subs sent here from Wall Street. <laughs> Took the ferry from uh, straight to Hoboken. Uh, we are interns. The storied Italian deli has been a staple in Hoboken, just across the Hudson River from Manhattan, for over 100 years. Fiore's House of Quality was founded in 1913 by an Italian immigrant named Alfonso Fiore, who initially opened up the space as a cheese shop. Years later, the Amato family came into the picture, which is when John Amato Sr. started working at the shop. In 1950, my father started working for Joe Fiore sweeping the floors, making deliveries. Some of his famous people he delivered to was Dolly Sinatra. Fifteen years later, Joe Fiore decided to retire and sell his business to the Amato family. Today, three generations of Amato's work in the cheese and sandwich shop. Fiore's is the definition of old school. First off, there's no menu in sight, unless you count the list of daily sandwich specials. There's also no website nor social media of any kind. Here's how to order at Fiori's. First, choose your bread, of which there's two kinds. Round rolls baked in a conventional oven and a longer hoagie style loaf baked in a brick oven. You then take your bread of choice to the counter while you'll order your sandwich. If you order the roast beef and mutts hero, they'll ask you if you want gravy on the side or spooned over the sandwich. Keep in mind, the spot is cash only. So, what makes this sandwich worth waiting in line for? Well, for starters, it's the star of Season 2, Episode 14 of 30 Rock, Sandwich Day. And the dipping sauce! Oh, joy! God bless us, everyone! Another reason is that Fiore's only sells the coveted sandwich twice a week, on Thursdays and Saturdays. But most importantly, people wait in line because this sandwich is in a league of its own. Making Fiore's roast beef and mutts hero begins with the sandwich's most important ingredient, the mutts. Our mozzarella is the best in town because we make small batches. We concentrate on the mozzarella. That's what we're known for. We don't want to mass produce it. John starts off the mutts making by pushing a big wedge of cheese curd through sharp wire to break it up into smaller pieces. Once the curd is broken up, hot water is added to begin melting it down. Then, John uses a long wooden stick to mix the curd into the water. Slowly but surely, as John stirs, the mozzarella starts to come together. Once the mutts has a good stretch to it, it's ready to be braided. After the mutts is braided, it goes into a salt brine, which lightly seasons the cheese. Once I saw the mutts being made, I couldn't wait to get my hands on a sandwich and taste it for myself. Mm. Wow. It's really simple. You know, there's really not a ton of ingredients in it. It's just mozzarella, roast beef, and then that au jus sauce that they put on top. And I just, I think that's really what makes this sandwich one of a kind is that each and every flavor in the sandwich tastes delicious on its own, but combined, like the bite of the sandwich with all the ingredients together, is just a beautiful marriage of just like a little bit of sweetness, savoriness, saltiness, and it's just delicious. It's so good. I mean, this gravy is so good, I could take a bath in it. And for people who really like, I think, a wetter sandwich or something that has more dressing to it, I think Dunkin's the way to go. It's amazing. This place is a blessing and a curse. The best mozzarella you're ever gonna have. That's the blessing. The curse is when you move away, you're never gonna have anything like this ever again. 